Hello and welcome. My name is Christina from Empowered Creator. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything without the fluff. So if you guys like this content and you would like to see more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and stick around. Also, if you need help with your specific situation, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, email coaching, as well as custom subliminals for whatever needs you may have. You may also want to check out my self-study mini course, Telepathically Connect with Your Specific Person. So if you're interested in any of these services, the links are below in the description box. Click on them and they're going to take you to my website. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. In today's video, I thought I would revisit what it actually means to live in the end, to live in the state of the wish fulfilled with your specific person, with whatever it is that you're manifesting with a specific person. Most people are manifesting a loving, committed relationship. A lot of people are manifesting marriage. Whatever it might be that you're manifesting, I wanted to talk to you guys about what it actually means to be in the wish fulfilled. So this is what I'll be discussing in today's video. Stay tuned. So I felt I needed to make this video today because I see a lot of confusion about what living in the end actually means or what living in the wishful field actually means. It's um, two different ways of saying the same thing, essentially. And the confusion tends to become even bigger when it comes to a specific person because I feel a lot of people confuse pretending with what it actually means to live in the end. For example, a lot of people, and unfortunately some coaches too, will think that they're forbidden from ever dating anyone else while they're manifesting a specific person. And their way of thinking is, well, if I was with my specific person right now in the 3D, if we were together in a loving, committed relationship, I wouldn't be dating anyone else. Well, yes, that's true. However, that is not living in the end, that is pretending. That is pretending that your 3D is something that it currently isn't. No one is saying that it's not going to be. Of course it's going to be. If you persist in your state of the wish fulfilled, it's going to be. It has to be. It has to manifest. But right now, with what your 3D is showing and what your 3D is, you would be pretending. If you decided not to see anyone else, not to go out with anyone else, not because you don't feel like it, that's a different story, but because you think that it's wrong and that it's going to harm or ruin your manifestation. Or I also hear that from many people where you think that living in the end with your specific person and living in the end of your desire and your manifestation means that you have to act as if you're already in a relationship, even if you're not in a relationship in the 3D. So for example, buying things for two people, going to the grocery store and buying more things than you would buy for yourself just because you feel like you need to act as if you are with someone. And while there's nothing wrong with that per se, if it helps you get into the wish fulfilled, because some people like to feel the wish fulfilled in that way, you also need to realize though that it's not required for you to live in the end. What I'm saying is you don't have to pretend to be someone else in the 3D than you currently are. The whole process actually takes place mentally and emotionally. The whole process takes place in your inner state and in your energy. You don't really have to do anything in the 3D, much more pretend anything, pretend to be someone who you're not right now at this moment to put yourself into the state of living in the end and the state of the wish fulfilled, okay? So what living in the end actually means when it comes to your specific person, when it comes to um, your manifestation materializing in the 3D, is you going on about your life, living your best life, enjoying yourself, feeling fulfilled and whole within yourself. And yes, that means even without your SP in your life right now at this moment, but knowing that your manifestation is going to pan out, knowing that at some point, in some way, your manifestation is going to come, your desire is going to manifest, your desire is going to pan out, you are going to be experiencing it in the 3D, and that's all you need to know. Now, if in the meantime, you feel like dating other people because that boosts your confidence, because that gives you a fun activity to do, because you enjoy meeting new people, because you might even be open to a relationship, in the meantime, then by all means, do it. That's not contradictory to living in the end. Because living in the end, all it is and all it means is living your life. Living your life, going about your life, knowing that your desire is going to manifest somehow, in some way, at some point. 
You don't put your life on hold. You don't put your 3D life on hold for any desire and any manifestation. That is actually the opposite of living in the end. That is telling a story to your subconscious and to the universe, if you will, that I don't have my desire and I'm waiting for it. And not only that, but I feel so miserable, I feel so incomplete without my desire that I'm putting my life on hold in waiting for it. And I feel so incomplete and I feel so much in lack of my desire that I feel that I need to even pretend to have something that I don't currently have in the 3D or be someone who I'm currently not in the 3D because I think that puts me in the wishful field. Like I just said, you guys, the wishful field, living in the state of the wishful field, ultimately is that inner knowing that your desire is yours, your desire is done, and you live your life, you go about your life, you live your best life, you enjoy your life as best as you can, right now, in the present situation, in the present conditions, you don't put anything on hold, you continue to take care of yourself, you continue to enjoy yourself, you continue to do whatever you want to do and you just live in the knowing that your desire with your specific person is going to manifest. And I actually heard that from another coach recently and I thought it made perfect sense. I thought it was a perfect point that I wanted to share here too. They said that you see that with a lot of Hollywood celebs. For example, they might want to be with someone and they might want to be with someone even for a long time. It might even be years. Yet, they might still be married to someone else or they might be in a relationship with someone else. They don't stop themselves from going out with other people, meeting other people, even getting involved romantically with other people. And yet, in the back of their mind, they always have the knowing that that SP, that person who I want to be with, one day is going to be mine. And lo and behold, one day, that day comes and they get together with that SP. How many times have you heard that story from the, those Hollywood celebs? Now, this isn't to say that your SP manifestation might take years to materialize. I'm not saying that at all. But the point I'm making is those people are not putting their life on hold. Those people are continuing to take care of themselves. They're continuing to fulfill themselves. They're continuing to live their best life. And in the meantime, they also know that their specific person is theirs. Their specific person is going to manifest in their life at some point, in some way, and they don't even stop to care or think about the how. They go about their life just with that knowing, and one day, seemingly out of the blue, that thing manifests. So this is actually the essence of living in the end with your specific person, and really with any desire, but since we're talking about specific person here. If you truly were with your specific person right now in the 3D, you wouldn't be looking at the 3D, you wouldn't be feeling the need to be pretending about different things or acting as if, right? You certainly wouldn't be putting your life on hold, you would actually be pursuing your goals and your interests and your joy and whatever brings you excitement and whatever fills your heart with joy. And your SP would be one more part of your life, obviously a very important part of your life, but still a part of your life. If you were in that loving, committed, secure relationship, you would still be taking care of yourself, you would still be thinking about the rest of your life, about all your goals, you would actually be thinking about how you would be improving your life, the life that you would be sharing with that specific person. So living your life, prioritizing yourself, focusing on yourself, while at the same time knowing that your specific person is going to manifest, the relationship that you want is going to manifest, is the essence of living in the end, is the essence of living in the wish fulfilled. You don't need to pretend, you don't need to act as if, you don't need to be putting your life on hold because at the end of the day, it's your life. And you are here to be living the best life possible, you guys. That knowing and that inner certainty and that inner confidence is ultimately all you need for your manifestation to pan out and to come to pass sooner or later. I wanted to make this very clear. That's why I made this video today. Because I hear it so much from people, a lot of you guys get so confused about whether you're supposed to date other people. I'm going to tell you, do whatever you want. If dating other people makes you happy and it makes you feel good and it boosts your confidence, by all means, do it. And if you even feel like getting involved with one of these people that you have just met in your dating, you can do that too. What if my SP comes back while I'm dating someone else? Well, that's a good problem to have. Then you can choose between the two people. I hear a lot of people getting confused about how to act in the 3D, how they're supposed to be, how they're supposed to talk to people. None of that really matters. You are not pretending, you are not acting as if. 
what you're doing at the end of the day is living your life, going on about your life and knowing within you, and you don't have to tell anyone else that, that your manifestation with your SP is going to come to you sooner or later. That is all you need. How you handle the 3D, I suggest you handle it the way that feels most natural to you and the way that feels best to you. And always remember that your own mental and emotional well-being takes precedence over anything else. You are always at the center of your attention. You are always at the center of your life because it is your life and it is your reality. So make it an enjoyable life. Make it a life that you love living and your manifestation with your SP is going to come. Don't put anything on hold. Don't restrict yourself from anything that you would like to do thinking that it might ruin your manifestation. Live your best life. Be happy. At the end of the day, if you were with your SP right now, you would be happy, you would be calm, you would be excited, you'd be living an amazing life, so why not go about it already? With all that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I intend that this has helped. As always, I very much appreciate you guys being on this channel, watching this content. I love making this content for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all at the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.